Munch, Munch, Dinosaur Lunch by Paul Bright and Michael Terry. Ty was big and Ty was mean. He had a big, big mouth with big, big jaws and big, big teeth and big, big claws. Yeah, that's me, said Ty Tyrannosaurus. His roar echoed around the swamp so that the other dinosaurs trembled in their tummies. <sighs> Terry was small and Terry was sweet. She had a tiny, tiny mouth with tiny, tiny jaws and tiny, tiny teeth and tiny, tiny claws. And she loved her big brother more than any Tyrannosaurus has ever been loved. Love you, Tyrannosaurus, gurgled Terry. Stay in your nest, pest, said Ty. I've got hunting to do. Ty stomped through the swamp. The ground sploshed and quaked and quivered, and the dinosaurs heard and shook and shivered. I'm hungry, roared Ty. I'm biggest, I'm baddest, and I'm ready to eat. I need some fresh Stegosaurus meat. He opened his big, big mouth and... A good Tyrannosaurus, burbled Terry, wrapping her arms around his huge leg. Ty sighed as he saw his Stegosaurus breakfast paddle off through the swamp, snickering. You shouldn't be here, squirt. He hissed. Get back to your drooling. Now stay away. And off he stomped, snorting. Ty searched in the swamp. The dinosaurs ran and hid. They peered through the reeds and peeked from behind rocks. But it's not easy to hide when you're a dinosaur. I'm starving, roared Ty. I'm biggest, I'm baddest, and I'm ready for lunch. I need Triceratops bones to crunch. He bared his big, big teeth and... Kiss you, Tyrannosaurus, slobbered Terry, planting a wet, sloppy kiss on his huge cheek. Oh, Ty moaned as he saw his Triceratops lunch plodding through the trees, laughing. You crawling, bawling bug, he growled. Get back to your slurping and burping, now leave me alone. And off he stormed, snarling. <laughs> Ty crept through the swamp, quiet as quiet. The other dinosaurs stayed still as still, and even the leaves stopped rustling. But a dinosaur can't stay still for long. Ty heard a movement in the trees and saw a long, long neck. Oh, I'm ravenous! roared Ty. I'm biggest, I'm baddest, and I need a treat. Diplodocus steak looks tasty to eat. Roar! He roared a big, big roar and... Goggle you to any enormous, cooed Terry. Ty groaned as his Diplodocus steak waddled into the reeds, chuckling. You spoiling, snivelling, dribbling, burbling, gurgling pest! He bellowed. I've had nothing to eat all day because of you. Arr, I'm going home. Ty stomped off through the swamp, then pounded across the plain in a great temper. Terry watched him getting further and further away. Then she sat down in a heap and howled. Oh, hoo, hoo. Thud, thud. Thud! Suddenly, the ground trembled. Die, ran enormous! squeaked Terry. But it wasn't. It was Spinosaurus. Terry screamed. Spinosaurus was huge, bigger even than a big brother Ty. He had a huge, huge mouth with huge, huge teeth, and his mouth was opening wider and wider. Don't you touch my baby sister! Ty roared and raged. He charged and chased, and Spinosaurus turned and ran. A 
as fast as his lumbering legs could go. Then Ty reached down and scooped up Terry in his big brotherly arms. He hugged his special, very annoying, pest of a sister more tightly than any Tyrannosaurus has ever been hugged. Wow, you to Aninobus, gurgled Terry. Wow, you too, Terry Aninobus, said Ty with a big, big smile. Now let's find some dinner. The end.